بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ڈفرنٹ کائنڈس آف گرپ کمیونیکیشن فنکشنز پرووائڈ بائی ایم پی آئی ان دا پریویس پارٹ آف دس لیکچر اینڈ پارٹ ون آف دس لیکچر سو دا لنک آف دیٹ پارٹ ول بی پوسٹڈ ان دا ڈسکرپشن آف دس ویڈیو سو ناؤ ان دس پارٹ وی ول بی گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ اے فنکشن کالڈ ایز گیدر وچ از گرپ کمیونیکیشن ٹائپ آف فنکشن provided by MPI. So as the name suggests, this is going to do opposite of what scatter could do. That is to gather the data from n processes into one process. So uh, take an example, if a parallel program is running as n processes, we know that there can be data scattered throughout the n processes or uh, as a one element each process. For example, in this case, the local x so we want to if we want to gather it uh, within one of the processes let us suppose process zero so in that scenario we can uh, use our mpi gather function by calling this within each process and uh, this you can see the list of parameters used in the gather function so the first parameter is the send buffer of p that means in this case this will be the local x for each process uh, the address location of that and then the send count that means how many data elements we are going to send and send type the type of the data element which we are intended to send and the receive buffer receive buffer in this case will be on one process that's process zero that's the destination buffer or dest buffer which i have used here as the name as an example and then receive count again the count of the data elements and then receive type the data type Uh, of uh, the sending element so we have uh, as we know that we have many uh, mpi data types like mpi int mpi float mpi care so here we if we, this local x is the integer type and their destination buffer is of type integer we can use instead of this we can use uh, mpi underscore int int and then destination process as we have seen that we are going to collect here the data elements local of x from each process to one destination buffer which is available on process 0 so the destination of the collection is here the process with rank 0 so simply we can use here instead of destination process we will we can use 0 0th process or the 0 that's the process with rank 0 and the communicator name the name of the communicator Uh, uh, for example the default name uh, the na name of the default communicator in our case is uh, mpi com world okay let us jump uh, to the uh, demo the practical demo part so this is a structure which i have already typed uh, to reduce the size of the video so there is the common things which we are using usually the includes for stdio dot coni or, or dot h mpi dot h and the main function inside the main function as the previous programs we are using the rank of each process and the communicator size now here i am using the local x that will be available the local x will be available with each process and then i am using this this is the simplest version i will be showing you i am using an array of four elements Uh, there is some uh, some change some modification needed to do in the final version but in this version i will be starting from the array first a simple array of four elements and then we are initializing the mpi in it uh, by using uh, we are initializing the mpi using mpi in it function and then mpi com rank to provide the ranks to each process and the communication com communicator size and uh, after this uh, we can have Uh, we can assign the value to local x any value so this this can be some mathematical operations by uh, uh, given to each process or assigned to each process so here we will give a simple uh, value the, this will be equal to my rank whatever is the rank of the process um, maybe multiplied by 2 so that means process 0 multiplied by 2 that means the result will be 0 on process 0 process with rank 1 multiplied by 2 the result on the process uh, uh, with rank 1 will be 2 and so on okay so after this uh, on each of the uh, process what i have to do is we, i have to call mpi gather function so whenever i call the mpi gather function i start the brackets and here will be the first uh, 
the first uh, parameter that's the send buffer so send buffer is our sending buffer we are going to send local x from every process so i will be sending the address of local x after this we have to give the uh, count so the count is one we are going to send one uh, one element and then mpi data type that will be mpi because local uh, x is type of in, uh, is of type int and our uh, uh, this yeah, this is uh, of type int so we can use mpi int here the data type and then after uh, the data type we have the receive buffer so since we are using the array so if i simply write the name of the array we need not to use the address operator because you uh, name of the array means the pointer then we are going to send the receive count and then again the receiving uh, type the mpi int again we are receiving it in mpi int as mpi int and then there will be another one that is the root root is the destination process we can say this is process 0 and then we will use the mpi communicator as mpi com world name of the default uh, this uh, communicator okay and then this is how we can use the mpi gather function so in this mpi gather function what i am doing is i am sending the local variable which is associated with each process and we are collecting this uh, these elements on arr right but on the destination process zero okay so after this i will try to display the uh, the uh, contents of this array because this array here we are not uh, filling any elements in this this is an empty array and here we are by this gather function we are gathering all the local x's and collect all the local x's inside this array so for that uh, i can do if my rank because it will be collected in one process that's equal to zero so then what should i do is i should run a for loop to display the elements of the array int i equal to zero i less than four we can use it as a variable but here i am for the simple case uh, for the simplicity i am doing this i am using the four element array and then i can say print f <coughs> since this is an integer so i will be using person d and comma arr of i okay so let us quickly build it build the solution so you can see here one success one zero failed so now we have to open our command prompt as admin okay so first of all we have to provide this path we have to copy this path and we have to go cd backslash and cd we'll copy this path here and then i will say mpi exec that means execute mpi program with how many number of processes for example i will say four and the name of the program that's group communicator p2 the name of the program i have kept group communicator p2 okay so group communicate group com p2 dot exe and then i will press enter you can see here the value of the array the first element is 0 2 4 and 6 because we are having four uh, these processes and i have put the value of local x here for each process as my rank equal to 2 so for process with rank 0 that will be 0 into 2 that will be 0 and for process 1 uh, pro process with rank 1 that will be 1 into 2 that will be 2 similarly process with rank 3 will be having 3 into 2 that means 6 like that so this is the result that simple simple simplest case of uh, using this uh, mpi gather uh, now uh, with this basic uh, version of using uh, mpi gather function there is one issue that's we are using this array this is a static uh, data structure and as we have explained in the concept here 
there should be the local x should be available on each process but this destination buffer uh, array that array in which we are collecting the data it should be only available on process 0 so but in this basic version what we are doing is we are making local x that means we are making this local x on each process and we are making an empty array of four elements on each process but it should not happen like this actually there should be no uh, allocated memory on these uh, processes other than process 0. So for that what we do is we can uh, modify this program. We can uh, instead of using the static array, uh, we can modify this program to use the dynamic memory allocation. So for that what, uh, what I will be doing is I will uh, cancel this array and I will use the integer pointer here. For example, I will use as the name as buff. You can use any name and I will put null in this. So there will be a pointer. See, uh, the difference is here I am creating the array of four elements. But here uh, I am not creating any, I am not allocating any memory generally. I am only creating an integer pointer with null value. Okay. So after uh, al uh, allocating the uh, local x from each process, what I will be doing is I will say if uh, my rank my rank equal to equal to zero, then I am allocating memory only in the my if my rank equal to equal to zero, then I will allocate the memory. So I will be saying buff equal to I will use the malloc function memory allocation function used in C, and then size of let us suppose we are using the integer, so size of integer. So still let us uh, have the constant four integers, right? So there is some issue like, uh, yeah. So we need to have an include for this uh, malloc function. And uh, here we need to type cause because malloc function returns the void pointer. So but here we are assigning it to buffer, that's the integer pointer. So we will type cost this C type type cost. So we will type cost it to integer pointer. And then instead of MPI gather here, uh, we, are, we were using the array. Now we are not using array. We are using the buffer. That's again a pointer, right? And now we are collecting the data in the buffer. That's the dynamically allocated buffer. And here also instead of using AR, we are using the BUF, the buffer name. So this is the MPI gather expected. Yeah, yeah, here, here, I, I forgot to put the end of the statement. That was the error. So now we can save it and quickly build it. So you can see here, build one and succeed zero. Sorry, uh, uh, succeed one and uh, failed zero like that. So now let us uh, open again the mod prompt. So let us give again the same uh, uh, the same command mpi exit minus four uh, minus n uh, four for any four processes and group comp dot exe and let us see the results. The results are same because we are again uh, assigning local x as my rank equal to two. But here uh, you you can see now you can see the difference here. Initially we were uh, allocating a static array of four elements in each process. So, but uh, conceptually it was not the right thing to do that because we are not going to waste our memory in all the processes. We need this buffer, the collection buffer at one process only, the process zero. So that's why I am making this buffer empty in each process only inside the process with rank zero. I am allocating the memory for this. So this is, that's all for the uh, MPI gather function. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.